First you take your bait and you put it on the hook. Cast it in the water and you try to catch a snook. Bait. You have to have bait when you go fishing. And right now there are all kinds of websites that are fishing for foolish Christians to make us look like a bunch of nincompoops. <laughs> to use an old saying when I was a little kid. You're like a bunch of nincompoops. In other words, a bunch of nut jobs. Ten foil hats. Crazies. You catch my drift? There's websites everywhere that know that Christians want to latch on to every little thing possible about Pope Francis, about Obama, or anything else. So they put all kinds of outrageous lies, hoping that Christians will take them and run with it and make it viral and spread it all over the internet so they can say, they can just reinforce their 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 uh, proof that they say they have that Christians are all a bunch of nutcases and to be ignored. And Christians fall for it lock, stock, and barrel. I even show Christians where they're messing up and tell them you need to retract this article, you need to retract this right now and start and start apologizing, they mock me and laugh at me. Here's the bottom line. Whenever you see any link that has something outlandish about Obama, Pope Francis, Jesus, anything, etc., antenna should go off. Holy Spirit antenna should go off, but sadly most Christians don't have the Holy Spirit in, the, in them anymore. But what you need to do is search back, go backwards and search for a source link. If you see something posted and you can't find a source link, ignore it. If they give you a link, look at that link. And when you go to that link, go down to their, to their description of the channel and look at their other articles. Because you'll see all kinds of foolish, stupid, outlandish articles that you know are fake. And they put that in there to make you look like a bunch of fools. And they are. And Christians, we don't need anybody to make us look dumber than, than most Christians already are. Because Christians right now have no discernment for the most part. They, they act like total fools. You need to wake up and stop feeding the monster. Stop giving them ammunition to continue to laugh and mock at us. Don't ever post anything on social media before you vet it in at least three or four sources. And again, go back to that source link. This one person, just just a total, total, just clueless, talking about the Pope Francis where he said that this is the last Christmas. People have been sharing that with me forever. And people always come to me and share that kind of stuff with me. I went right to the place, back to the source link. It was a phony news channel, like so many others are. And I tell people over and over again, and, and these same people keep coming back to me and saying, check this one out, Paul. I said, look, haven't I told you before over and over again to check the sources? They say, oh, my bad. I get really tired of it. It's time to start learning. We need to pull the pacifier out of our mouth. <laughs> I'm just a little Christian baby, Paul. I'm just a little Christian baby, and I, I'm still drinking milk, and I can't figure anything out for myself. That's what it's like. It makes me sick. We need to start waking up and understanding what's going on, understand our enemy, and start fighting <clears throat> our enemy. If you've never been saved, to your backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in the box below the video title. No one's guaranteed any more time in your life. Also, if you'd like me to pray for you for anything, contact me, and I will. Christians, witness and pray for the lost night and day. That's our job. Keep doing it always. And look up. Our different draweth nigh. We fly soon. Bye.